Cancer, we're getting ready to do your love reading for this week. Let's take a look and see what we have for you. I am asking you to leave in the comments where you're viewing the video from because I was a, I'm was a former flight attendant uh, for an international airline, so that's exciting. And I'm also asking people to make suggestions for videos that they would like for me to produce. I've been doing dailies on specialty pro uh, topics, which people are responding to really well. All right, so Cancer, what's going on here? Nine of Wands, okay. Your energy coming into the reading is that you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling burdened but optimistic willing to do the work Sagittarius energy let's look at the bottom of the deck though hermit card okay so it doesn't look like you've spoken to your person in a while it looks like you're trying to figure things out fishing for answers they're fishing for answers since that's mutual energy but let's see I'm going to do your energy their energy and your outcome for the short term knight of cups okay so cancer you're feeling very romantic very dreamy that's pisces energy you might be dealing with the pisces we also get the energy of the nine of cups you're very happy so at this time you're feeling very loving very desirous of love you're very focused on romance joyfulness eat drink be merry the celebration of life that life is good and that you really want to move forward with a romantic offer your person look at this a strength card they have fire in their belly for you that's leo energy your person has is feeling very intensely attracted to you remembering and recollecting what they loved best about you it looks like a very passionate connection leo energy look at this we have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. I do feel like this is a relationship that's gone on for a while, that you haven't been talking in recent months or weeks or days, however it applies. Uh, for those of you, it could be new energy, but it, it looks like it's with somebody that you know, because I get the Nine of Wands. So that looks like you're very committed to having a very solid love relationship. Your person really wants something brand new with you. They have the, the strength, the fortitude, the intense desire for you. Judgment card. I love it. Your person's going to make a decision. It's making a judgment call, quite literally. Your person does feel as though there could be some issues to work through. Judgment is also karmic and release and everything else. So we get your outcome card. A small offer of love is made. We will clarify everything, of course. So it does look like a small offer is coming in. Six of Cups, a reunion. As I thought, this is a relationship with somebody that you know. It's not new love. Six of Cups is in Seven of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. You're both fantasizing about this, but it looks like you're a really grounded reunion. There's some awkwardness there, that little fish in a cup. You know, that it's very cute. It's very sweet. So there's a very strong nostalgic feeling between you and your person. Okay, let's look and see what the energies are here for you. Um, we're going to clarify the energies. We're going to look at the overall energy. And we're going to look at the deeper feelings and mysteries behind this with Heart of the Fairy Oracle. So, the Hermit card. Why is it here? What do we need to know about that Hermit card? What do we need to know about the Hermit card? Okay, the hermit energy is you being alone, thinking about things, searching for answers, you and your person. So the three of coins, the question that both of you are asking right now in this love relationship is, can you make it work? You'd like to make it work. Mother of Pentacles, are we going to nurture the situation? It does look at some point in the past that somebody walked away. And now look at that in the future. We're looking at the two of cups. So the overall energy is quite lovely. I like it. Moving from a time of heartache and separation to a time of collaborating very beautifully, nurturing the relationship. So, and the Two of Cups, I mean, that's a commitment. It's minor arcana soulmate card, but we see those two beautiful cups of love clarified by roses. Red roses are all about love. Why are you feeling this Nine of Wands energy? Eight of Wands. Well, <laughs> Cancer, you're feeling very burdened by your passions. They feel overwhelming to you. You want to make love all night long. You are revved up, ready to go. Again, you know, Sagittarius energy. 
you would like to also vacation with this person, communicate with this person. What else do we have for you, Cancer? We have the Knight of Cups Judgment card. Okay. So both of you have something to forgive, you know, or one person did something that the other has to forgive. But there's definitely a karmic here. It could be a karmic connection from another life, definitely, especially with the infinity symbol with the, the strength card. It's usually a love that lasts and endures over many lifetimes. But the judgment card says that you have made the decision to move forward. The Queen of Swords, eat, drink, and be merry. You definitely want to know if this person has any serious feelings about you. Uh, the Queen of Swords is all like, I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It really foretells that you want to know if this person's been out partying. You know, you're going to choose very carefully. You will release this person if you feel as though they were, you know, really unfair, unkind to you or did something that you think was unethical. So when we look at their energy, we get the strength card. What is this? The world card. They think the world of you. Your person really feels as though you're um, very successful, that you've had some sort of ending in your life, that you're beginning a new cycle, but a very successful time in your life. They're very optimistic about this connection. They feel as though it can grow. They feel as though you can go to the next level, and that is what is on their mind. The Ace of Cups, this new love. Look at all those beautiful butterflies. Transformation after a period of difficulty. Chariot card, Cancerian energy. There you are in your reading. Your energy is here. The Emperor drives the chariot. They're coming in fast. Your person is moving very quickly towards you, Cancer. What do we have here for the Judgment card for them? Hierophant, they want to make the decision to let go of old attitudes, and they definitely want this Taurus energy, this beautiful energy of traditional relationship, marriage. You know, marriage is really here to create foundations and stability. Your person's a lot more old-fashioned than you may have thought they were. I'm going to go ahead and clarify your the judgment card for you. What is this decision? Your person knows now that they want a very stable, happy, committed relationship. The star card, you want to heal. You want to heal after this, I think it was a very unexpected situation. You want to make sure that, the, that everything, this relationship has a strong foundation. Why is a mother of swords here? That's I call it the Judge Judy card. Um, very, very quick to to wonder if somebody is a player. So you're looking to see what I'm seeing is judgment card for you is about finding about the truth and finding if this person has any serious intent or whether they want to stay in this sort of in and out energy. And I don't see that. I'm seeing them being very, very focused on a, a successful long-term relationship. So I do think that you're in a good place, Cancer. What else? Tell us about the world card more. Okay, Saturn. Looks like your person has done very well in a financial career sense. The devil card is Capricorn energy, usually rules work, restrictions, responsibilities that are very heavy. But your person has really, the world card also is ruled by Saturn. So I feel as though they have solidified their finances, their career, their work. They've been focused on that. What's making them come towards you at this time? The Sun card, happiness, joy, sensuality. That's a card of Leo, fifth house of romance, sexiness, sex. Everything that feels good and fun and delightful and sensual. It feels, it's like a day at the beach. Why do they feel the need to be married? Oh, the truth is that they were always looking for that. The Ace of Swords, your person has clarity, though, that they were not good with you. They do feel as though they owe you a karmic debt of some sort. Why do we have the Page of Cups here for you as your outcome? Love this card, Three of Cups. So I feel as though you got, the two of you have been friends for a long time. I feel as though, you know, you have the Friendship card here. Uh, this is, you know, one more cup and you're married, Ten of Cups. But we also see that your person did something by treating you as a friend that left you out in the cold. It looks again like they didn't speak to you and now they want a new beginning, the Fool card. They want a reunion with you. 
they recognized that they were immature, they didn't treat you right, they didn't give you enough, even though they cared about you. They just gave you that little tiny offer of love, but they're coming back in for a reunion. You know, we have that chariot card coming towards you very quickly. I like this. It's beautiful. All right. So what do we have here for the Seven of Cups for our Cancerian friends? Here we go. The Three of Swords. Okay. So I do feel as though there is something about this relationship that is has been has still in the in the lurch so to speak i don't know if lurch is the right word the three of swords says that your person has it is mutual energy it's outcome energy but it says right now that this particular week doesn't look like you're coming together with them the seven of cups is both of you are fantasizing about each other but there's been heartbreak tell us more about that heartbreak daughter of pentacles page of pentacles that the offer was too small you felt options were kept open and i feel it was the other person the way this reads because of that toxic energy they they feel they have to pay the three of okay good that's great the energy is now changing and shifting from a three of swords to the three of wands that means that the two of you are going to move into the energy of Capricorn, excuse me, is it Capricorn, Three of Wands, it is, um, three of, I'm sorry, that's Aries energy. Sorry, a little brain fog here. <laughs> three of Wands is all about uh, having made the decision to be together. I get the Eight of Swords, though. There was some self-imposed restriction prior. We get the Six of, cord, uh, of Swords, so now healing energy, moving forward, choosing each other, planning a future. The Daughter of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. Okay, we have the Two of Coins, though. Everything's not completely settled. The Two of Coins says that, you know, you both are indecisive. I feel as though you're going to take a wait-and-see attitude. Yep, there it is, Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune, when the timing is right, you feel as though you'll have the answers. Let's look and see what Spirit has to say about this connection. What does Spirit... Spirit, could you please give us clear and helpful answers to our cancer friends about this relationship? Let's see. We have generosity, maple spirit. Okay, that's great. I love that energy. Both of you are going to be very generous with one another. We also have new beginnings. There we go, the fool card, as I thought. So we love that for you. Okay, what else do we have? We're going, oh, truth. Okay, truth be told. We have the Queen of Swords. You get your truth, Cancer. You're definitely getting your truth. Let's look and see why this person, I'm not going to clarify any specific card. Um, I'm going to clarify the overall energy of why they were less than forthright, why they think that they have a karma back to you. We're going to do basically a spread like this. We're going to do it over on this side of the table. Why does Cancer's person feel what's the situation as it is now? They do see you as exceptional. You're like a unicorn, something that, you know, they treasure. It's a, you know, it's a unicorn sighting. Very rare. They know that you're one of a kind. Okay, the Queen of Bedlam is what really created this situation. So it does look as though, sometimes this is an ex-wife. Sometimes it could literally be like a business partner. It doesn't have to be a woman. It just has to be somebody who created a lot of havoc in their life. The Queen of Bedlam is somebody who just brings drama and trauma. And so we're asking, you know, what happened with them. Um, let's see in the past what was going on with this. The question. They didn't know what to do about it is what I'm seeing. But they had something catastrophic or someone catastrophic in their life. And in the future, they see you as a lady of the forest. That is a lady. That's like um, the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as very grounded, down to earth, very loving, very desirable. And so that's what I see for you is that whatever this person was dealing with, let's see about that Two of Swords, all that nonsense up there. Yeah, the song, Upside Down. There was something going on in their life. 
they felt like they just they were gag like it's almost like you know you always heard have heard that term gag order they felt like they really could not tell you again this energy of this person is like I don't know what to do so I'll just stand here and look kind of weird and foolish and silly and you know the remembrance though they've had a lot of really intense memories about you why were they toxic though oh no oh this person has a history of it I feel as though this person's life has a lot of chaos that they've allowed to come in. I feel like they don't have really good boundaries. The queen of the night, we get the energy that this person has, has issues with just uh, kind of letting people overstep their welcome. The queen of the night is somebody who's awake at night having remorse and regret. But we see this person was um, just lets people make mischief in their lives. They're codependent in some way with that devil card. So Cancer, it looks very hopeful. I really like this reading for you. I am thrilled for you, in fact. Uh, and send me a love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thanks, Cancer. Bye-bye.